What, what is your name? Jennifer. You're not going to shake my hand? Are you scared? Like, do you think I'm... Am I that I think you're looking? a creep. Yeah. Well, okay. Though you said that with such a smile, though. Is that... Because is that, it's funny. I mean, it's funny when creeps come up and talk really? to you. Really? But, but, but it happens kind of all the time. Funny. But you're not running away. You're sitting there. Well, I'm being paid to sit here. You're being forced to. <laughs> yeah. That's what all women say to me is they're being paid to sit next to me. Right. Within seconds of seeing someone's face, your brain has already decided whether they're trustworthy or not. Yes, just by looking at their face. And even more surprising, high testosterone might make someone look either more trustworthy or untrustworthy. This isn't a masculinity thing, it's evolutionary psychology. This is hardwired biology, and today we'll dive into whether high testosterone faces might be perceived as more trustworthy and what it says about human nature. Before we dive into why these faces are trusted more, let's break down what physically defines a high testosterone face. Generally, when scientists talk about this, they are usually referring to certain masculine facial features that are thought to be influenced by testosterone during development. Researchers use four key markers, facial width to height ratio. A 2011 study in Proceedings of the Royal Society, B, found that men with a wider face relative to height had higher prenatal testosterone exposure. This ratio predicts real-world outcomes. CEOs of Fortune 500 companies have significantly higher facial width to height ratio than average, jawline prominence, and gonial angle. A study in evolutionary psychology showed that a jaw angle between 110, 120 degrees, more square, correlates with dominance perception. Testosterone increases bone density in the mandible during puberty, creating that chiseled look. Brow ridge and superorbital ridges. These ridges develop from androgen receptors in the frontal bone. Deeper set eyes create a protective look, subconsciously signaling vigilance. And cheekbone and zygomatic arch projection. High testosterone increases mid-face growth, making cheekbones appear more pronounced, a key factor in trustworthiness ratings in a 2020 Nature Human Behavior study. These features are driven by androgen receptors, especially DHT, a powerful derivative of testosterone. The more androgen receptors in facial bone tissue, the more testosterone can help shape your face when you're growing, especially during puberty. So now you know what to look for. But why do we trust these faces more? Why would a masculine high testosterone face be perceived as more trustworthy? Wouldn't strength signal danger or dominance? It seems like a contradiction until you understand evolutionary psychology. From an evolutionary standpoint, high testosterone often signals genetic fitness, resource control, protective capability, confidence and stability under pressure. So, in our ancestral past, trust wasn't about niceness, it was about competence. A 2013 study in PLUS One found that in small-scale societies, men with broader faces were more likely to be chosen as wartime leaders, but also as mediators in conflicts. Their faces signaled two things, the strength to enforce rules and the restraint to not abuse power. Here's where it gets fascinating. You'd think high testosterone faces would seem more aggressive, right? When subjects in a 2019 neuroimage study viewed high testosterone faces, their brains showed reduced threat response in the amygdala, but increased trust-related activity in the medial prefrontal cortex. In an evolution in human behavior study, when participants were asked to choose a financial trustee, they overwhelmingly picked men with higher testosterone markers, even when those men had resting dominant expressions. This isn't just theory. Look at historical depictions of leaders, from Roman emperors to 18th century military portraits. The trusted leader facial template hasn't changed in thousands of years. And in mock jury simulations, high testosterone men were more likely to be seen as honest when they held eye contact and spoke confidently, even when they were guilty. Why? Because our brains have evolved shortcuts. Masculinity equals strength. Strength plus calmness equals protector, and protector equals trust. It's not logical, it's primal. Evolutionary, that's exactly who you trust. This bias isn't confined to history books. It's playing out right now, in your career, your relationships, and even the so-called justice system. A 2016 Law and Human Behavior study analyzed 500 plus criminal cases. Defendants with higher facial width to height ratio received 20 to 30% shorter sentences, 
Even when controlling for crime severity, judges subconsciously associated their faces with honesty Earl, and responsibility. Corporate leadership selection research from the University of Pittsburgh found that for every 0.1 increase in facial width to height ratio, a CEO's base salary rose by $4,200, independent of performance. Then there's the dating and social perception. You'll find out even though we're looking at high testosterone faces, it all comes down to attraction bias and the halo effect. It's all about looks. Studies show that women's perception of trust is tightly linked to attraction. In fertile phases, women are drawn to high testosterone faces. Testosterone-linked faces get a halo effect. They assume they're competent, so they want to trust them, despite also being associated with higher infidelity risk. Obviously, this doesn't mean every high testosterone man is attractive. It's also not about just being a bad boy. It's about being physically strong and emotionally stable. But there's a flip side. When testosterone is too high or uncontrolled, those same facial features can signal aggression or low empathy. This is where facial expression and context matter. A neutral or warm face with masculine features? Trusted. But a scowling, intense, or emotionless version is seen as dangerous. It's the difference between protector and unstable aggressor. So the highest trust comes from a blend. And in reality, you can't really fake high testosterone. Several studies have pointed out that highly masculine features, the kind associated with high testosterone, are perceived as more aggressive or even antisocial. Some research explicitly states that masculine faces are often described as untrustworthy. If we go back to faces with higher facial width to height ratio, in some cases, it's not only perceived as less trustworthy by others, but more likely to actually exploit the trust of others in experimental settings. But what about facial hair? Beard growth is also influenced by testosterone. In one study, when attractiveness was controlled for, people were more likely to choose bearded faces as trustworthy compared to non-bearded ones. At the end of the day, trust isn't just about words. It's about primal, hardwired instincts. From an evolutionary psychology perspective, high testosterone faces win because they signal strength and reliability. A combo, our brains are wired to respect. The key takeaway here is that there's no simple high testosterone face equals more trusted equation. It's incredibly nuanced. A good way to find this out is the next day you're out. Whether it's school, work, or another setting, be conscious about it and check who's perceived as more trustworthy by people subconsciously. Now, if you're wondering if testosterone itself influences our social perceptions, well, it does. Some research has looked into how testosterone itself influences our social perceptions. Interestingly, a few studies found that administering testosterone to individuals, particularly women who were already quite trusting, actually made them less trusting and more skeptical of others' faces. It seems testosterone might ramp up our social vigilance, making us more cautious. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, well, I can't change my bone structure, if you're going through puberty, increasing your T levels is one of the best looks maxing you can do. That's when hormone-driven transformations occur, and you obviously want your hormones to be naturally high, otherwise that can skew your development. So, yes, natural testosterone optimization can change your face over time by enhancing your facial muscle tone, reduce puffiness, reduce your facial fat, and may even strengthen your bone density and try to align your presentation with the way humans are wired to respond. For thousands of years, human brains have been fine-tuned to read faces in milliseconds. And while life's not fair, understanding these biases gives you an edge. If there's something I've missed, let me know. Make informed choices about your health. Try improving what you can, and make peace with what you can't. This is the natural way. Thanks for watching.